हेलो गाइस दिस इज अमरजीत कोश चौधरी रिसर्च कलर एट आई आई टी रो की हियर आई हैव गिवन माय ईमेल आईडी एज वेल एज माय फोन नंबर यू कैन कांटेक्ट मी विद माय ईमेल आईडी और फोन फोन नंबर इन व्हाट्सएप सो दिस कोर्स आई हैव डिजाइन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू व्हिच कंसिस्ट ऑफ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स पार्ट एंड इट्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ 25 क्लासेस सो टुडे वी विल सी आवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर क्लास फर्स्ट लेक्चर सीरीज दैट A uh, highlight of today's classes is like basic idea of quantum mechanics, dualities of matter and wave function and its physical interference. Okay, so next is how to tackle the problem related to the wave function. Uh, before start um, uh, saying anything about the quantum mechanics, I will tell you about something the classical particle. That if we have a classical particle of mass a which is moving with velocity v, then uh, from the Newton second's law we can write a equation for this particle f is equal to m a or m into d v by d t. So by solving this equation we can find the position, momentum, and uh, energy of that particle at any instant of time. Uh, like this, there is a equation in quantum mechanics which is known as Schrodinger equation. This is the heart of the uh, quantum mechanics, which is like the which equation is like this: that minus x cut square by 2m del square psi of r plus b of r psi of r is equal to energy e into psi of r. The you can see the uh, first part of left hand side is known as the kinetic energy part, and the second part of this. Um, so left hand side is known as the potential energy part and right hand side part is the total energy part if you see this equation is very much similar to the classical equation that kinetic energy plus potential energy is equal to total energy okay so uh, this this is the equation uh, known as Schrodinger equation so you can see here that h cut by h cut is h cut by 2m is a constant where h cut is reduced plus con plan constant h cut is equal to h by 2 pi m is the mass of the electron and delta is the laplacian operator actually every operator in quantum mechanics come with a caps so i miss a cap here here the, in this schrodinger equation there is two operator is present and psi is the wave function you don't have to put any cap on psi but in potential energy operator v is the potential energy operator and e is the kind uh, is the en energy eigenvalue operator so okay every operator is comes with a caps okay so uh, you can see in this equation schrodinger equation there is two things one is wave function another is operator and that h cut 2 h cut square by 2 m is a constant so uh, before going to start this uh, Schrodinger equation we have to need some pre uh, requirement that is what is the wave function what is the uh, operator we have to know what is the what are the physical interpretation of the wave function and the, and the operator so uh, for before and again for before starting uh, the, the no, starting the concept of wave function operator we have to know two concepts that one is related to wave function this is de Broglie hypothesis this another one is for uh, and before starting the operators uh, we have to know something about that uncertainty certainty principle uncertainty principle okay that uncertainty principle for two operator a and b can be defined as delta a into delta b is always greater than equal to 1 by 2 i then the expectation value this symbol is known as expectation value of commutator of these two operator commutator of these two operator okay don't worry this is very simple things we will derive but uh, uh, for your exam like jam and just for some point of view you have to remember at least this formula they can ask directly okay so uh, you have to write we will see actually in uh, after two three class what is the uh, expectation value and what is the uh, commutator of a two operator but right now you have to remember that this symbol is expectation value okay then this one is commutator commutator algebra so uh, this is uh, don't worry this is also very simple as you know that in your plus two classes that delta x delta p x operator is always greater than is always greater than equal to h cut by 2 once we derive this formula we can come from this general formula to we can come to this our old formula whatever we did in our plus two classes okay 
so next slide we will see that uh, what is the de broglie hypothesis de broglie hypothesis states that any moving particle or, or object is associated with both wave property as well as particle properties okay so uh, what de broglie give that he give a equation like lambda is equal to h by p which is connected the wave character and the particle character of this matter that lambda we know that if a wave is move it is always associated with a lambda so this is the matter wave lambda is the matter wave which uh, which is associated with the wave character of matter and we know that when a particle of mass a moves with velocity b it has a move character like but momentum which is so the particle character of this matter so m into v this part is the momentum of the particle which show the particle nature of uh, this matter so this de broglie wavelength formula gives the relation between the wave character and the particle character of a matter which is the dual properties of this matter so how this formula comes to uh, de broglie minds that uh, one simple line that natural law of symmetry okay this line is important before they de derive this formula de broglie everyone know that light and radiation has dual nature that is particle nature uh, which is explained by the newton corpuscle theory another was wave nature which, uh, which can be explained by the uh, hygiene wave theory so new heart de broglie think that nature since nature loves symmetry and light has two uh, character can show two character that particle character as well as wave character like this matter can also should have also uh, dual nature like wave nature and particle nature which can be explained by this empirical formula in next uh, slide we will in this slide we will derive the derive let's see de derive the relation derive the relation lambda is equal to h by p so according to Planck's equation we know that the energy of photon is given by relation e is equal to h nu okay where e is the energy h is the Planck's constant which value is 6 into 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and nu is the frequency again we know that einstein mass energy relation that e is equal to mc square left hand uh, if you compare equation one and equation two what we get that h nu is equal to mc square again we know that nu is equal to c by lambda just put it its value h is equal to c by lambda is equal to mc square so 2c is cancelled out then this implies that lambda equal to h by mc this is the expression for the photon uh, de broglie wavelength when ne in the next case when if we take a particle of mass a move with velocity v its uh, wavelength can be represented by lambda is equal to h by m and the c is can be replaced by v this is the de broglie wavelength of a particle of mass a moves with velocity p when again we know that p is equal to mb so that we can write the expression lambda is equal to h by p or overall we can write the de broglie equation may be represented as lambda is equal to h by mb or h by p this is the our expression lambda is equal to h by p so next we will see uh, uh, as we define that the every moving particle have a wave associated with them always when a particle moves with some velocity v it always asso associated with the wave then uh, is, is it possible for a human is there any wave associated with them or any object macro object like human uh, is there any wave associated with them or not let's see a car of mass uh, 1000 kg moves with a velocity v that on 10 meter per second what is the value of this uh, de Broglie wavelength for this car La, we know that lambda is equal to h by p so just uh, uh, h by m b just put the value of h h is equal to 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second divided by mass 100 1000 kg into 10 by solving this you will get that 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power 30 meter so you, you can uh, you can see uh, when you when you try to convert uh, into uh, nanometer that one nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meter so it becomes 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 21 uh, nanometer 
but uh, problem is the, this is that uh, in the uh, microscopic length scale we are only able to measure the length up to 10 to the power minus 15 to 10 to the power minus 18 meter but you see that for this car the uh, de Broglie wavelength is all about 10 to the power minus 30 meter so that's why this is the insignificant quantity or we can say this is our limitation our limitation that we cannot measure we can't measure the wave character 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 associated with mac mac macro particles okay so but uh, that is true that every particle is also associated with a wave character is either it is a micro particle or a macro particle let's take for a micro particle what is the value of the de Broglie wavelength so let's see the de Broglie wavelength of electrons so we know that uh, mass of the electron is 9.9.1 in 10 to the power minus 31 kg let's it moves with a velocity c which is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second then the expression for the de Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h by mc just put the value of h here and m here and v here you will get an expression like 0 0.7 in 10 to the power 11 meter so this 10 to the power 11 meter is a very significant quantity which can be detected so s so uh, small particles so we can uh, say that micro particles micro particles wave character can be determined determined and that's why these micro particles are known as the quantum particle for example electrons proton neutrons alpha particles and uh, etc are the quantum particles okay so next see another questions for the uh, proton uh, proton uh, let's see uh, what is the uh, what is the de Broglie wavelength for a proton okay so for a proton the momentum p is equal to given that 1.5 into 10 to the minus 27 kg per meter kg into meter by second so just put the value uh, lambda h and p to derive the lambda value you will see that is value is 4.42 nanometer which is in the scale of 442 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter which also can be detectable uh, so it's wave characters character wave character can be detectable so we see another uh, micro particle for which we can derive the expression for this La de Broglie wavelength which is associated with the uh, wave character of that particle so another question we'll see that what is the relation between de Broglie wavelength and the electric potential for an electron when it moves inside a electric potential suppose this is the electric electric potential the scalar quantity when a electron is move inside it it's kind of uh, the expression of kind of what is the it's the kind expression of kinetic energy that is expression of kinetic energy is called charge in the potential energy so uh, this is we need actually uh, so uh, here the expression for the de Broglie wavelength of an electron is given by lambda is equal to h divided by 2 km this k is kinetic energy okay this is how we get this expression we can know that lambda is equal to h by p okay p is equal to mv so we can write that h by mv and kinetic energy is equal to half m v square i can write it like half m square v square by m again i can write m v is equal to 2 m k root over just replace the value of m v here we will get lambda is equal to h by 2 m k root over please see you will get some um, state inversity the direct question that lambda is equal to h by 2 mk if the uh, uh, this is the relation between the de Broglie wavelength with the kinetic energy of the particle which is moves non relativistic speed non relativistic speed okay so uh, so now we know that when an electron moves inside a uh, scalar potential electric field 
that kinetic energy expression is equal to E into potential energy. So just replace the uh, K with electron volt, we will get lambda is equal to H by 2 m e v root over. Just put the value of H and the charge of electron, mass of electron, you will get a formula like this, lambda is equal to 12.27 root over of potential into uh, potential divided by potential angstrom this is the expression you have to remember this value actually what is the de Broglie wavelength for a electron moving moving in uh, electric potential that lambda is equal to 12.27 divided by root over of v angstrom uh, why if you remember this you will you can uh, solve the problem directly uh, without putting and solving all these values uh, like let's see in the next question actually what is the de Broglie wavelength of electron which is oscillated through a potential difference 10 kilo volts so we know that lambda is equal to h by uh, sorry uh, h by 2 m e v root over but by so if you want try to put the value of h uh, value of m and e and solve it is bit uh, difficult at time taking but uh, if you you already remember that h is equal to sorry lambda is equal to 12.27 root over of v angstrom put the value of v uh, but in si unit what is the v is given here 10 kilo volt just 10 into 10 to the power 3 volts so 12.27 divided by 10 to the power 4 root over angstrom when you solve it you will get 0 0.127 angstrom directly you can get the uh, value of uh, de Broglie wavelength for the electron which is oscillated to a potential 10 kilovolts so for the next class actually we will see what is the expression for the de Broglie of wavelength, wavelength for a relativistic relativity particle so we'll derive this in next class but before for, before the uh, before the next class we have to know the a simple relation from the relativistic maybe some of you know or some of you don't know that e square is equal to p square c square plus e not square that in e is the total energy energy of energy of particle which is moves in relativistic speed and the e naught is rest energy when the particle is at rest which is equal to m naught c square this m naught is rest mass okay so p is the momentum of this particle momentum of this particle and uh, c is speed of light so this is the this expression is from, comes from the relativistic uh, special theory of relativity okay when uh, we'll read this about this chapter we'll derive this expression but for uh, your next class you have to remember this expression so that we can derive the uh, relativistic uh, de, de Broglie wavelength for a particles okay thanks